Oh, God. All right. So, here we are. I'm just doing videos. My computer, as I want to do. And uh, who should happen to start causing shit? Brad Marchand. Come on out. Come out. Come on out, go out. Come on. Not in this discussion. Well, okay, go on. Okay. There, I let Shadow out. Here we go. He just got thrown out of the game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious, Brad Marchand? You don't know what happened? And he's swearing as he's taking to the penalty box. I paused live TV and rewound it here. Midsection? He did not spear him in the midsection. Apparently your balls are your midsection. It might be his midsection now. Oh, God sake. How? Brickley, he's obviously getting a five-minute major because he just got taken off the ice. That's what it is. This is why I can't su can't support Brad Marchand. Oh, we're gonna look at it from this angle. That's quite the midsection he's got between his legs there. Oh, for fuck's sake! You know what's really good is when your team's trying to make the playoffs and there's a guy on the team that you really can't stand and when people see you wearing their jersey, they assume that you're a fan of that guy. And then you see a play like this and you're like, oh, this is great. People are just going to automatically assume. People are just going to automatically assume that I defend the guy. There's not much to see here, folks. Brad Marchand, being Brad Marchand, decided to uh, heist, well, to slash Dodge and right in the nuts. All right. So there we go. Brad Marchand. I I don't know if you can suspend a guy for smacking someone in the nuts. I know that was a real reaction too. I just I don't. It's not like Dotchin is some fifty goal scorer or anything either. Like uh, usually a shot in the nuts like that. I mean the guy's obviously wearing a cup. He's going to be hurting. He's going to be walking around. Um, hopefully he comes back to the game. Because whether I'm a Bruins fan or not, stupid Marshan. It's like, you don't want that crap to go on. You now Tory Krug's being interviewed. and it's not Tory's fault. Now he's got to try to defend Marshan, which, good luck with that. I just don't... I. I don't have words right now. I don't have words for how I feel when I see Brad Marchand pull this crap. And I've discussed it. This is the fourth time I've discussed it this year. Four times I've done a video about Brad Marchand. And this is why when I was in Vancouver 
Every time he scored a goal, I cheered until I realized it was his goal, and then I went, oh, crap, and I ducked down. Because it's like, oh, of course he's the one scoring the goals. But tonight, it's a scoreless tie against Tampa, and what does he do? He takes a five-minute major for spearing a guy in the nuts. Like, I don't think it's suspendable. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, I know they didn't suspend Crosby for his. I, I, You know, kicking him out of the rest of the game is probably going to save him from being suspended. If if the call hadn't been made, if the referees had missed it, I think we could probably see a one-game suspension out of it. The problem is Marchand has like a long laundry list of things he's done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Does Marchand get suspended? Is the guy going to drive me to drink as a Bruins fan? I think the answer to that is probably yes. And and this is this is that dividing line where it's like I support the Bruins, I love the Bruins. I I can't defend Brad Marchand. I can't defend that kind of play. It is uh, dirty and it's uh, underhanded, and it's um, it's just not something I can support. So there's not a whole lot else to say. There's not a whole lot of angles we can look at that from. Uh, it is what it is. And it's upsetting to me as a Bruins fan because you just don't want to see that in the game. I don't. I really, really don't. It's stupid. So again, how long do you suspend them for? Is it suspendable? Should it be suspendable? I don't know that it is. I don't think he's going to get suspended. But he's certainly not making any fans in Tampa tonight. And uh, that's why people hate Brad Marchand and that's why I can't defend him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. And it sucks that these kinds of things are being done regularly by Brad Marchand. I I do agree with one thing Brickley said. This is the kind of stuff that goes on in the game all the time. And his biggest crime here may very well have been that he's Brad Marchand. And crime number two may have been he did it so obviously. And with such force that they couldn't avoid calling a penalty. And the five minutes may be for stupidity. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to watch the rest of this game and watch Boston implode. <sighs> but I will talk to you all again soon.